نحمد و نسلی على رسوله الكريم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تنكح المشركات حتى يؤمن ولا امه مؤمنه خير من مشركه ولو اعجبتكم ولا تنكح المشركين حتى يؤمنوا ولا عبد مؤمن خير من مشرك ولو اعجبكم اولئك يدعون الى النار والله يدعو الى الجنه والمغفره باذنه ويبين اياته للناس لعلهم يتذكرون صدق الله العظيم from here now for four continuous sections questions and problems regarding women are being discussed the first instruction regarding this la tankihul mushrikat hatta yumin don't marry mushrik women idolaters those non believers who are not from even the people of the book they will all be included in it don't marry mushrik women hatta yumin till such time that they embrace islam they come to believe wal amatun mu'minatun and definitely even a slave girl if she is a mu'min if she is a muslim khairum min mushrikatin is better than a mushrik free woman wala ajabatkum although she might appear to you to be much liked you but you may be liking her more wala tunkihul mushrikeen hatta yumenu and don't give away your women in marriage to any mushrik man till such time that he embraces islam he becomes a believer wala abdum mu'minun khairum min mushrikin surely a slave if he is a muslim if he is a mu'min is better than a free man if he is a mushrik a kafir wala ajabak ajabakum although he may appear to you to be very good ulaiq yad'una ila an-nar they are calling towards fire towards hell and now don't go near them till they are clean faida tatahharna when they are fully finally clean fatuhunna min haythu amarakum allah then you can go to them in the manner in which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordained for you inna allah yuhibbu at-tawwabin wa yuhibbu al-mutatahhirin verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who repent of their mistakes and he loves those who keep themselves clean and pure nisaukum harsun lakum your women are like a tillage for you fatu harsakum an nashaitum you can come to your tillage from wherever you like wa qaddimu li anfusikum and forward good deeds for your own selves this can have two meanings because due to this sexual intercourse with women with wives one gets offspring so his progeny is continued so get for your yourself try to preserve your species through this act that allah subhanahu wa taala has prescribed for you but taqulla and have taqwa of allah subhanahu wa taala regard him as he should have be regarded wa labu annakum mulaqu and keep it in mind every moment that you will have to meet him you will be presented before him one day wa bashiril mu'minin and o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam give the glad tidings to the people who really believe wala taj'alu allaha urdatan la imanikum an tabarru wa tattaqu wa tuslihu bainan nas and don't use the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your oaths as an impediment to your being pious and god fearing and to your promoting peace among mankind you take oath on allah's name wallah and on what i will not do, do this good deed again for the acts of charity for acts of piety for acts of making peace among people 
you know somebody somebody sometimes gets angry i am not going to again indulge in your affairs at all although he was trying to make peace between two brothers wallah i swear by god i will not again indulge in your affair bhai you have to go on trying to make peace between the two quarreling brothers so don't use the name of allah for such oaths la yuakhidukum allah bil lagh fi amanikum allah will not take you to task about your oaths which you take without any intentions walakin yuakhidukum bima kasabat qulubukum but he will bring you to task for those oaths which were earned by your hearts intention with intentions wallahu ghafurur halim and allah is forgiving and forbearing in this connection the final orders will come in surah al maida that if somebody has taken an oath and now he wants to go contravene it then he has to give the redemption the kafara the fidya that will be described in surah al maida as i told you the blueprint of the sharia is being prepared in this surah but in most of the matters the final injunctions of the sharia that will appear in surah al maida lil ladina yununa min nisaihim tarabbusu arba'ati ashhur those of you who swear and take an oath of not having any inter intercourse with their wives may wait for 4 months somebody has taken an oath i am not go i am not going to go near you he says to his wife and he takes the oath swear by allah subhanahu wa taala now this condition may continue for more four months not more after four months one has to take a decision either divorce her and make her way free or who should return and he should start having the sexual intercourse with the wife so only for four months it can be this separation can be only for four months not any more للذين يولون من نسائهم تربص اربعه اشهر فان فاؤوا فان الله غفور رحيم if they go back if they break their oath is better and allah subhanahu wa taala is also forgiving and merciful وان عدم الطلاق فان الله سميع عليم and if they have decided for divorce then allah subhanahu wa taala is all hearing all knowing 